Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide your Microsoft Word document into different sections and how to do a proper chapter numbering for your long document. So let's fire up the Microsoft Word. I have some uh, randomly generated text into this document. And I'm going to do the sectioning first. So let's get help from the navigation pane. This is the uh, first chapter and the second chapter in this document uh, would be introduction. So let's find it. Okay, I just put my cursor before the word introduction and from the page layout pane, I insert a next page brick. So if I show the hidden characters, you see that a section brick has been inserted here. The first, uh, the third chapter is going to start from here, and the second chapter ends here. So, from the page layout pane, I insert a next page brick. And here, it also inserts uh, a new line. I delete that by pressing the backspace. Chapter, yeah, here is summary. So the third chapter ends here. I insert a section brick and I delete the uh, extra new line that was uh, inserted. So here now we have four different sections into this document that we can have different uh, headers for each, different footers. So let's have some headers and footers. I double, uh, I double click on the header bar. Here I type introduction. Uh, sorry, it should be chapter one. Chapter one. I go to the next header and I break the link to previous. So I can type here chapter two. I again mm, break the link, I type chapter 3, I go to the fur section and I chapter, type chapter 4 and I, uh, I break the link between these two sections. So close header and footer. Okay, so now let's have some uh, chapter numbering. Initiation is the title of this chapter. So I give it a heading one, style, and I wanted to have a multi-level list. Okay, from these multi-level lists, these uh, can be the most Accurate, but it still it is not what exactly I want. I want it to uh, to be chapter one, colon, space, and then the chapter title. So I press Control Z to undo, and from here I'm going to define a new multi-level list. Okay, for the <coughs> level one, I want it to be chapter one, colon, and then. Uh, okay, it won't be shown, but you can press on more button to sh uh, have some more options and then follow number with space. Be careful to select space. Okay, for the second level, I want it to be level 1 and then I want to have a period. Mm, sorry about that. Level 1, period, and then I want it to. Uh, I want the Microsoft Word to insert a number, and then I want to have a colon, a colon, and then follow number with space. Okay, for the third level, you can do the same. Level one. Dot. Then level two. Again, another period and then a number and follow
hollow number with space. Mm, okay, let's have a colon uh, before that. Colon, and then follow the number with the space. Uh, I have done uh, this multi. I have defined this multi-level list just for three levels, and you can do till nine. Okay, but it will have the same procedure. Now press OK. You see the that you have chapter one. And then section. Okay, this is section, and just give it a heading two. One point one is the first section in the first chapter, so it gives. Uh, so it will uh, it will be like this. Okay, in this case, if you do the same procedure as I'm doing, so there, uh, there won't be any uh, problem about its space between these numbers, right? And the colon and the section title. If you try to do it manually, then you will uh, face uh, lots of problems. Okay, section uh, two, again, heading two. Section three, heading two. Section four. Okay, then section subsection. Okay, it is subsection. So uh, heading three. One point four point one. Section. Heading three, heading three, you see one point four point three, and then section one. But this section one is in the second chapter, so introduction is the chapter title. So I give the heading one, chapter two, and section one, so heading two. It would be 2.1, right? Section 2, heading 2, 2.2, and section 3, 2.4. Okay, you can do the same procedure. I have uh, only this many um, chapter numbers and sections, so I go to the uh, chapter 3 it's planning okay I give it heading 1 and it automatically automatically changed to chapter 3 colon planning and the last chapter in my document is summary okay so summary heading 1 chapter 4 so in headings you see, in the he uh, heading tab, it will uh, divide your document into different chapters and different sections. And you, uh, in this, uh, with the navigation pane, you can navigate uh, your document very easily. Okay, so, uh, if in future, for example, you insert uh, a table here. Insert a table, just a blank table, right? So let me hide the unprinted characters. And if I want to insert a caption from the references pane, I insert a caption. Insert caption. This is the table one. Select label as table, and I want the position to be above the selected item. In the numbering, if you want to include the chapter number, so just check mark this uh, check box press ok and again press ok okay Ch uh, table four one it means that it is the first table in the chapter four and uh, you, uh, I press control e to center it so in this case you will not have any difficulty regarding the numbering of uh, different sections and chapters uh, into your document thanks for your watching